So I started with that. And this was the first set of songs I played. Now, Long Train Running was the um, was my test song. I tested the sound out with that because uh, I, I think whatever song was playing on the Touch Tunes jukebox was like, you know, 120, something like that. So I beat matched it, right? I tested my stuff out with that. But then I started with Come and Get Your Love, went off, right? Everybody, oh, hey, hey, right? And everybody's kind of like bopping. I'm like, all right, ha, it worked. Then I went to Jack and Diane, listened to the music, right? classic rock type stuff. I knew that would work, right? And it did, right? People were kind of bopping. Everything's good. I'm beat matching all this, obviously. I'm mixing it, right? And that, that's another huge thing. Can I just say real quick, all right? I, I don't mean to get all close and personal. Always mix. Always, 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 always mix. It, it, there's so many DJs that you, you start any gig and it's a bar and there's nobody there. It's like, oh, what's the matter, man? Just put on a mix, you know, and wait till people get there. No, mix. I don't care if it's just you and the staff. Make the staff dance. Make the staff bop. Play for the staff first. And then as the guests come in, you get like a group of three people came in. I'm playing for those three people. They got their own personal DJ for the next few minutes or f however long until the next group comes in. And then you go upon that. Always mix. Always. And not to mention, you never know who's watching. Okay? It could be dead. There's nobody in there. And, and the, the, the most connected, the biggest, you know, the most important person in the world is in the room listening to you. And you would have no idea. You never know. Just always mix DJs. But anyway, so, so I go, uh, Jack and Diane, listen to the music. Then I went, I miss you. Um, it was the same key. And I wanted to see if they like, you know, the Blink-182, that type stuff would work. Like, because there's a couple younger people at the bar, you know, and a couple people bopped, you know, a little bit, but not really. So I'm like, all right, I'm probably not going to go down that road, road later. Then I went into uh, got, Drives Me Crazy. Another one, Bites of Dust. That song went off, right? That's a good little bop. And, you know, I went through just different, like, older stuff because that's the crowd that was in front of me. You know, Michael Jackson, DeBarge, um, uh, Prince. I, I just wanted to hear that song. If you ever heard Head by Prince, oh, great song. Funky as shit. Love, love that song. Have you ever seen The Rain? That's a that's a song that just everybody loves in general. A lot of like uh, on the voice and shit, people sing it and stuff like that. So like, I just feel like everybody knows that song. And then Send Me On My Way from Matilda. All My Way. Do, 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 do. All My Way. Right? So later on, um, the place is, uh, you know, getting a little more busy. I started at 9 o'clock, right? So it's like 10, 10, 30, right? Um, I'm still in, you know, like I, I get into like some 80 stuff. So wake me up before you go, go. People actually started two stepping a little bit to that around the bar. Uh, you make my dreams come true. What I got, you know, uh, red hot chili pepper, stuff like that. Higher love because I'm tired of that damn Kygo version. <laughs> I wanted to hear the regular, so I fucking played it. Um, got into some other 80 stuff. And then I went into, um, I tried, uh, more like kind of R and B funk, right? So fly is me into fly, uh, which was a wordplay, um, which we'll talk about wordplays too today. Uh, usher too close, right. You know, get into the kind of the R and B stuff. See if I can get some of the, cause younger people are coming in, see if I can get them the vibe. And then it was weird when I started dancing, I went skate, I went emotions. I played long train running cause we still had old people in there. So, and it worked good and people kind of sing along to that. Right. Then I went, move your feet juice the way you move uh, outcast banger into forever when i played forever it was like it was so odd like 15 people just went to the dance floor and started dancing to forever i don't know where i, I don't know why it doesn't matter it was almost like they were hired i was like yeah, it's like it's almost like i paid them each 20 bucks said hey listen when i play this song go out there and dance it was like awkward the way they went out there and dance i don't know but whatever. So I played I played forever. They started dancing. It was still early. It was only like maybe 10, 30-ish tops, right? So I didn't want to like drop bangers. So I, you know, went to Sexy Back, S&M. You know, I didn't want to like, okay, they're there. Let's go in and like, you know, make a huge change in the banger. So I slowly kind of, you know, went into other stuff and went into like some wedding stuff, you know, because this is early on. California Girls, Cali Ocho, Donza, you know, Donza, I guess, would be a big banger. That's where I really kind of went for it, sort of, you know, and then went into low and everything. But that's basically what I did. And then after that, you know, I kind of just played the crowd and you know, just became like a regular bar. You know, a lot of young people came into playing like, you know, uh, newer music, stuff like that. And, you know, you, you kind of go into it. But I just want to share my playlist with you, give you guys a little perspective, because it, it was a challenging thing because you're starting out with a classic rock cl crowd and you have to transition into a newer crowd without the newer crowd walking in and being like, this sucks. He's playing, you know, classic rock. You know, it's just all about kind of having detailed crates and, and also knowing the crossover records, you know.